Darling, it's me, Handy. Can I can I come in? Um, I'm sorry I knock on your door so late. But I was patrolling the hallway and I I'm sorry, I I heard you crying. I just wanna make sure you're okay. Can I close the door? I don't want anyone else to get up and see you so vulnerable. Thanks. So, you had a nightmare. Okay. Hmm. I... I know you have bad experiences with love. I guess I... I guess I get where these nightmares are coming from. Your ex-partner was in your dream. Okay. And they left you in a dark room in your dream. Just like they did in real life, I guess. They... I'm I'm sorry. I I said something I should have. Oh, thank you. You're so understanding. Wait. You're scared of loving again. Why? Because of that piece of shit. The fact that they were a piece of shit. Because, before I continue, you know perfectly fine that they were a piece of shit, right? Good. The fact that they were a piece of shit in the relationship doesn't mean you have to pay for their actions. You gave a lot in the relationship, simply because you are a lot. And since you are a lot, and you deserve the world, you shouldn't close the door to a new love because of past experiences. <sighs> Darlin. You don't have to be so hard on yourself. You are having these nightmares because you're dispersed, overwhelmed, and lost. And that is normal. I want you to understand that your emotions, the way you feel, is normal. I know it hurts. I know how a broken heart feels like. It's a pain that that you can't touch, but you can feel. A pain that you can't heal with creams or, you know, taking just a simple tablet. I know how it feels because, you see, someone broke my heart too. A long time ago, but it happened. You want to know more about it? <laughs> sure, why not? Make yourself comfy. <sighs> it happened five years ago. I worked with this person. 
And one day I was patrolling. Just like tonight. It was a night just like this one. Peaceful. Quiet. That person promised me the world. <laughs> but that night, they gave me all the pain in the world. Long story short, I found them making out with someone else. I know, I know. Horrible. I swear that day I heard how something inside of me just broke. Hmm? Want to hold my hand? <laughs> sure. That day, I had to make a big decision. Give up on us, or give up on me. And I'm single right now, so you can guess the rest. No, darling. You don't have to be sorry. It was their decision. Being loyal is a decision. Betrayal is a decision. For the next year and a half, I cried and cried. But one day, I was sincere with my feelings. I understood that some loves are only temporarily. They're not intended to stay forever. But in the moment I realized they were no longer in my life, I understood I had a new goal, a new project. And it was to find my next love. This time, my forever partner. And if I'm honest, I... I think I found it. Hmm. I think it's too early for you to know what I mean. <laughs> I will let you know when the moment comes, I promise. For now, I want you to heal. I want you to grow. I want you to make your way out of this pain. And I know it's a long way, but I want you to know that I will be next to you every time. So don't feel alone, cause you're not. Not after I found you. Can I hug you? There, there. You have done an amazing job. You're so strong. Good job. You made your way out of that toxic relationship. Give yourself some credit. Want me to stay next to you till you fall asleep? Absolutely. Anything for you. But your bed is too small. I will have to hug you. If you don't mind that, then I think I'm fine. <laughs> of course you don't mind. Make space for me.
Mm -hmm. um, it's just gonna take me a second. I'm just taking my belt and my boots off. I can go to bed like this, even if it's just till you fall asleep. Come on, it's just gonna take a second. There. Mm, thank you. And excuse me. Mm. Mm, I like your blankets. They're comfy. <laughs> Come closer. Please. Mm. So, what if I tell you, I don't know, stories from my past till you fall asleep? Sounds like a good idea. Okay. Let me think. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you know this about me, but when I was five... I met our commander for the first time. <laughs> yes, Commander Erwin Smith, the only one. <laughs> he was a little shy kid back then. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he was the cutest. <laughs> Don't tell him this though, it's our little secret, okay? <laughs> Good. Our parents were close to each other. And of course, they wanted their children to get alone. But Erwin was too shy. And I was. <clears throat> How to say it? I was just me. <laughs> Can I play with your hair? Thank you. It was really difficult at first. But we ended up getting along pretty well. For my ninth birthday, Erwin thought it was a good idea to make a mini titan out of grass and mud. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> But it was that exact moment when my obsession with Titans started. Yup, it was all your commander's responsibility. <laughs> and then, when I was ten, I met Instructor Keith. <laughs> yeah, the worst combination ever, I swear. <laughs> hey, can I kiss your forehead? Why? Mm. Just because? <laughs> Thanks. Mm. After I met those two, I understood two things. There's weird people in this life. <laughs> and I was not as crazy as I thought. <laughs> uh, at the end, we ended up becoming really good friends. Years later, Many, many years later, I met Levi, <laughs> and the combination was even worse. <laughs> then I met you, and it was better. You know, I've, I've always seen you like a great person. I've always thought you were different 
and special. And because you are unique, I don't want you to stay in this sadness forever. You got this. Okay. And if you need me to stay with you till you fall asleep every night, I'm gonna be honored to do it. Okay? Just ask for it. Now, close your eyes and have some rest. I promise you I'm gonna be here. I'm not going anywhere. Have a good night, Arlen. <laughs>